if you're a leader, you are in the people business. That is your product. Your product are the people you lead. And as a leader, you're not leading spreadsheets or P&Ls or balance statements or processes and procedures or even strategies and systems. You are leading people who are doing all those other things. So you are in the people business, period, full stop. So that means the most important thing that you can do is to get to know your business, get to know the people that you lead. What gives them purpose? What gives them meaning and a feeling of significance and personal fulfillment? What are they motiv motivated by? What are their core deep-seated human needs? What do they want and, and who do they want to provide for? Uh, what do they want to provide for them? And what is it going to take in order to do so? And when you're in the people business, your objective is to identify what those core human needs and, sh and, and show how those align with their performance and how they can get those needs met through the performance of their role. So if you can align their goals with the goals of the enterprise and the goals of their, their role, now you really can create a passionately engaged team committed to the common purpose. And, and this is the main art form of leadership, to show them how they can satisfy their greatest human needs through their role in the organization and the achievement of the enterprise's overall mission. And, and there's an even trickier part here, and that is everybody gets their human needs satisfied differently. It's kind of like love languages in relationships. Everybody receives affirmation, empowerment, challenge, and inspiration differently. And differently at different times. Some people need an attaboy or an girl, high five. Sometimes they need a, a pat on the back. Sometimes they need an arm around the shoulder. And sometimes they need a smack upside the head. The role of the leader is to have the emotional intelligence to know who needs what, when, and how and what language to use with one person that's probably different than another. And now you might say, wow, this people business stuff is complicated. Yeah, it sure is, if you wanna do it right. Plenty of people are put in the management or leadership positions and don't have a freaking clue. They're so just self-absorbed. They're completely emotionally inept and just brutish. In fact, many of us have been victims to managers and bosses and coaches and priests and parents or other people in quote unquote leadership positions who didn't know what the hell that they were doing. You know, they're like surgeons operating on the heart with a hatchet. And then they wonder why they made a bloody mess of the team that they were tasked to lead and why the organization, the organism died under their care. The cause is gross leadership malpractice. And this once again is why I developed the hero's journey to teach and develop these vital leadership skills that are more vital now than ever before. Why? Because the workforce is not made up of primarily Protestant white men anymore who basically all speak the same locker room language. Leading in today's world is a whole lot more diverse and dynamic and a whole lot of new skills need to be developed by anybody who ever wants to be a positive influencer of any kind in this brave new world that we are in. So I'm really looking forward to your organization taking this journey with us. Uh, I think it will be epic and I think uh, transformative in, in, in many ways, not just what you guys do here in your organization, but all the people that uh, look upon you as the example um, that's going to affect how they want to live and see, the, see themselves and what's, what's possible uh, for them as well. The, 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 the profound example that you could be in the lives of your kids, of your neighbors, with your community, those that you attend church with and so forth. Like, I think it's going to be amazing.